question for today is how to use sweating for heavy metal and gut detoxification. That's actually a very good way because um, a lot of people looking for techniques how we can detoxify the body from heavy metals which can be mercury, cadmium, uh, strontium, lead, and, but also aluminium which is not heavy metal can be also very successfully according to medical research there are actually published studies which discovered that uh, sweating and perspiration is an extremely useful and beneficial technique to detoxify uh, the body from heavy metals. In addition to that, there is a, a like part of the equation is how we can detoxify the colon, small and large intestine, uh, from different type of pathogens, different bacteria, from abnormal flora, and how we can restore good flora. And here also I discovered it on many of my students, uh, hundreds of my students tried this technique, how we can use sweating to detoxify the gut and even to achieve uh, so-called uh, no soiling effect. No soiling effect I, I discuss in my book, how to uh, restore digestion. And um, no soiling means people do not require toilet paper anymore. That's a really very good sign of good digestive flora in the gut. So how we can use sweating for all these good purposes or perspiration, how we can sweat. Of course, one of the methods to use sweat would be to go to a sauna or to steam bath, sauna probably would be better, most people would prefer sauna. And having uh, staying there for long temperature, some people may need only 10 minutes to sweat if it's high enough temperature. Most people probably would be somewhere around 20 minutes, we will start to sweat profusely, like the drops of water start to drop. And you can see like legs, arms, other body parts, of course, spine and uh, chest and uh, armpits and forehead would be probably first areas, but later other areas of the body starts to uh, produce sweat and that helps detoxification in medical studies we even measured it very high concentration of aluminium and uh, heavy metals which can be excreted with sweat but that's very uh, good technique but I believe else uh, I believe in the idea that actually there is even better technique to sweat during physical exercise so when people do intensive physical exercise and we do exercise hundred percent with nose breathing in and out that even further improves blood flow circulation and increases uh, body oxygen test results because uh, my students measure these numbers then people e even able to get better results because uh, I'm, I'm certain that the sweat that we produce due to physical exercise is uh, uh, many times more effective and many time, probably many times more concentrated in terms of uh, if we compare sweat during exercise versus sweat which we can produce in, in sauna, for example, due to high temperatures. And we also can combine both these techniques because it is possible to do at least light or mild physical exercise in sauna, for example. People can do stretching. And that would be something similar to hot yoga or Bikram yoga because it's one of the uh, most popular and probably among modern types of yoga, modern yoga, like uh, yoga uh, is not taught the same way as it was taught 70 or even 100 years ago, like in very recent times. There are many changes, for example, it's kind of more emphasized physical part and having yoga asanas rather than doing pranayama and having permanent changes in the breathing pattern. So I have a whole book on Amazon which is called Yoga Benefits Are in Breathing Class where I explain like these changes and how traditional yoga Sanskrit uh, texts, what, what, how we explain the process in yoga, how we, people need to improve their body oxygen levels, breath holding time results and many other factors. So there are therefore three techniques which can be used, how we can use sweating for heavy metals and gut detoxification so for better digestive flora. And that would be again using sauna alone using physical exercise and some people may put even you know like a sweater jumper maybe even for a part of exercise like last 10 20 minutes of doing physical exercise so that they sweat profusely during maybe this last part because having extra clothing um, can be really beneficial or at least a vest for example uh, to have the beneficial and of course uh, a third method would um, combine both these techniques so using mild exercise, even stretching, doing some other like light yoga exercise in sauna, because then um, having physical exercise while being in sauna probably increases, uh, like decreases duration, how much we need 
time to spend in sauna by maybe about two, three times. So instead of like spending 20 minutes in sauna, just sitting and waiting, you can do some uh, exercise, not necessarily very rigorous. You may do rigorous if you like, breathe 100% through the nose, but uh, that would allow to reduce time a lot in sauna and to have to produce more sweat if you spend like 20 minutes doing really like moderate or mild exercise, you can sweat much more intensively. And that helps a lot again with heavy metal and gut detoxification. At the same time, I also certain that breathing retraining, since when people, um, one of my best students, for example, and students who were very diligent practicing up to two, two and a half hours of uh, physical uh, breathing exercises per day, plus some additional uh, uh, physical exercise, maybe up to one, two, three hours a day with 100% nose breathing. These people improve body oxygen test results very fast, like this is DIY body oxygen test that we do. And then what happens that if we progress very fast, most people experience very strong detoxification reaction. It's very, a kind of very sure, a very certain method because there are many other techniques and many other professionals who talk about detoxification. But I found practically that in achieve like really strong body cleansing combined, which can have very different like word effects. For example, I myself once started breathing retraining, I had my urine turning like almost black, black or like dark brown color, like brick color for about two days, like uh, for two days when I had detoxification reaction. Some other people can get blisters with pus, so some people can vomit bile, some other like chemicals which are accumulated due to liver toxicity or gallbladder toxicity. M many people experience diarrhea, some people can have some hairs fell off temporarily and then they, they regrow. So there are various reactions which are, and asthmatics for example, they can have uh, out the mucus, those who were smokers for years and the mucus is dark or black, they cough out for about, usually it lasts about two, three days, cough out chunks of old mucus, also having a reaction of detoxification due to breathing retraining. So there are these techniques which can be used for uh, detoxification of the digestive system, gut, heavy metal, but also of the whole body. I just wanted to ask, is there any uh, specific physical activities that you would recommend? Uh, any type of physical exercise which produces high heart rate so that we go into aerobic zone and for an average person that would be something to have let's say around 150 140 beats per minute that's already a very good heart rate that allows improved circulation and with nose breathing and high co2 levels during exercise that profoundly improves blood flow to the whole organs of the body. So, but among all physical exercise, Soviet doctors uh, would suggest as probably most natural exercises to use running, so jogging, because body shaking is involved, easy to get sweating. And also it, because uh, muscles of the legs, we have the strongest uh, uh, large muscles in the body, uh, skeletal muscles. And therefore, uh, like, uh, and therefore this type of uh, exercise is most natural and also most easy for people to, to use. Thank you.